Hey, what's up, Internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here, doing a quick little tutorial of uh, Votifier. Uh, this was one plugin that uh, I had a little trouble with getting set up, and it looks like a lot of people out there are having problems setting it up. So uh, I thought I would uh, do a quick run through, and really the reason that it's difficult is it, it works a little bit different than other plugins. There's actually uh, two steps for setting it up. So anyway, here we go. Um, yeah, so basically you want to download from bucket.org. And, uh, you know, this is where you're going to find all your plugins. So once uh, once you have that download, I already have mine downloaded. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and copy this. This is going to be just like any other plugin. We're just going to paste it in the plugin folders. And then we're going to run our bat file to start it up. Pretty simple, straightforward. That's, the, that's how it goes. The difficulty with Votifier is it actually will reference a listener. And that is what uh, goes through the process of everything so once we have that stop or running let's stop it real quick and there it goes so then we go into plugins so now we got the votifier folder just like any other plugin now there's nothing in here to really configure uh, the one thing to note is if you are on a hosted server or hosted place that uh, you basically will have to ask for an open port what port can you use to do this and then your IP I don't uh, I don't do this so I have zeros on mine and it uses the default port. So, cuz I don't I don't have a hosted service, so that's how it goes. The other thing, uh once you're setting up Votifier on any other websites where people can cast their votes, uh you'll want to know the public key, which is actually found. I had this open from earlier, but it's found in the RSA folder. Uh I can't remember if it's a private or public, but it'll it'll lay it out when you're registering your server. And you just basically get it from there. It's just to make sure that everything is uh, secure between and people can't get into your server, that kind of stuff. So now listeners, this is where Votifier is different. It actually references the listener class. So there is a form. I'll put links up. Don't worry. Uh, you don't have to read all this really quick. But anyway, uh, the two big ones are the vote for cash, which is what a lot of people use. That's what I use. Uh, and then there's a listener that gives items. There's a whole bunch of different ones. There's one that gives like a random item, which is sounds like kind of fun, but I like to keep it simple and straightforward. So if you want to download it, the problem with this one seems like the download is way off on page six, at post 105. So I'll put the link to this one in here just so it's easier to find for you guys. So you download it. It's pretty easy. You get this file. I already download it because I am sweet like that. But anyway, <laughs> coming to listeners, you're going to put it in here. And uh, here's where it's a little different. So now we put it in there. It doesn't really do anything yet. Still needs to compile. So, oops, not that one. We're going to run our bat file again. <laughs> I just tried to run the jar file for Votifier. But anyway, so don't really have much to run here. So that's pretty quick. We'll just stop it again. And doo -doo -doo, that's about it. All right, plugins. So now in here, there is the vote for cash folder. So now, now that you have this folder come in here, and now this is where you're going to edit anything for vote for cash. You're going to change the word amount, any wording or anything like that. Um, broadcast if you want other people to know. Uh, if you have a different name for your currency, we our currency name is Greenies, but uh, everybody else has something different mostly. This is one thing I kind of... Uh, I turned off on mine was the nag player. It's off by default, but it's a good way that you can continue getting volts uh, and remind your players. I have a different way of doing it, but this works too. So anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. If it turns out that uh, Votifier is not working and you put an IP in that host uh, one, I did that at first because we have an IP address, but for some reason that didn't work for me. So... And I was looking up, trying to figure out why, but I couldn't figure out why. So if it's not working for you, put zeros in there, and it'll work. So that should be all. I hope that helps you guys, and as always, enjoy the game.